Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Nino Cooney. Let's go. So we ended up here in Al Mamun. We found the uh, the great sage, but apparently he is not in the mood to help us because of his daughter, who is currently not only brokenhearted, but her heart is sealed and is closed off to everything around her. Meaning that we can't do shit for her until we open it. Meaning we gotta figure out who she's connected to in our world so that we could do her a solid and get her uh, back on her feet. But before we do that, I wanna go get something. Is it back here? Looks like it should be back here. Ah, is it? No, it's not back here? Really? It looks like it should be back here. The milk fountain. Hey, Horace, how you doing, buddy? Oh, right, we can't talk to you unless we have the spell we got from you back in Ding Dong Dell, which should be a spirit medium. Here we go. Nice to see you again. Did you have fun crossing the desert? Fun? It was flipping boiling, man. Boiling for you, maybe, Pipsqueak. I'm a ghost, and ghosts don't feel the heat, so there. What are you doing here, Horace? I'm looking at these fountains. They're amazing. They squirt out milk. All the milk a boy could drink. They're what Al Mamun is famous for. But the spicy smell coming from that food stall is mixing with the smell of the milk. It's strange. Ha! Huh, you think so? I kind of like it. Hey, there are still loads of spells you don't know yet, aren't there, Oliver? Well, I am trying. It's just my wizard companion is kind of... Uh, most of the pages are missing. Missing? Oh, yeah. I had to give you the spirit medium page, didn't I? Uh-huh. When Mr. Drippy Purse gave it to me, the only spell inside of it was a gateway. Really? So the pages had been torn out? I bet it was that idiot Shadaz doing. Alright, I suppose I'd better help you fill it back up again, shouldn't I? Tidy, there's a generous... There's, there's generous. Maybe I was all wrong about you being a stingy little midget after all. Well, I'm not just gonna hand a, lo hand a load of pages over, if that's what you're thinking. Oliver will have to prove his wizarding comprehension skills first. The wizard's companion isn't just full of spells. There are also stories in there that were gathered by the sages over the centuries. But those have probably been torn out. Stories are pretty powerful, after all. They might inspire people to stand up to him. Right, I'm going to give you one to get you started. Have a read. It's one of my favorites. So he gave me a story, huh? Or was it this one? No, it wasn't this one, right? Well, obviously it must have been the most current one, this one. Hmm, all right. I'm not gonna read it, but I'm pretty sure I could probably guess what the story is about. All right, so let's go. Did you read the story I gave you? I hope you read it carefully, because I've got a question for you. Ready? Sure. Good. Here goes. There are quite a few characters in the story. Can you remember them all? Tell me, who was the smir third smallest out of the prince, the Lion King, and the Dragon of the East and the Dragon of the West. It was the, well, Dragon of the West, obviously. So, D.
Wow, they really do. Dragon. Wow, they really do have you enter the sun, don't they? I guess having you giving you options just means you could just restart and just keep guessing. This means you actually would have to technically read it, right? Dragon of the. I should have just enough spaces, right? W. E. Uh, oh. No shit. Dragon of the West. Correct. Very impressive. Your wizardly, your wizardly comprehension must be almost as good as mine. Oh, I said I'd help you fill your wizarding companion. Back up, didn't I? Here. Ah, so now we've obtained the draw poison spell, allowing us to remove poison off of ourselves. Thanks, Horace. I suppose it was a bit mean giving you a question like that, but you worked it out eventually. And that's what being a wizard is all about. Learning to look carefully at every detail and understanding what's going on. Shut up with the wise old man talk, will you? You're no flippin' older than Ollie boy here. I'm not? No, I don't suppose I am. At least I don't seem to be. Now what's that supposed to mean? It's strange. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something really, really important. Ah, uh, never mind. I can't believe how much this place has changed. I'm gonna see if the other towns around the world are as different these days. I think I'll head somewhere with a bracing sea breeze next. I might not be able to feel the wind on my face, but I can still enjoy the view. See you soon. All right. With that taken care of, I think we might have our location for the gateway spell, actually. This might be the perfect place to do it. So, let's, opening our, let's open our uh, spell book and activate gateway. So, where to start the search, eh? You remember how this works, eh, Ollie boy? It's all about spotting similarities. Somewhere around here is someone who's similar to young Esther in some way. Now, what girls do you know? G girls uh, I don't really talk to girls. I mainly talk to Phil. Crikey, well, that's no good, is it? How are you how are we gonna how are we gonna do this then? Uh, I'm sure there's somebody she reminds me of. Can't quite put your finger on it, is it? Never mind. If brain work won't work, leg work will. Let's go for a stroll around town and see if we could spot Esther's soulmate. All right, Mr. Drippy, let's go find that girl. So we got to find someone who's similar to her. You know, I will say I do like conceptually what they do with this, right? Like two worlds, everyone's connected. So that just means you got to figure out who they're connected to and then go from there. Hey, I just thought. What's up, man? You having a nice time thinking about girls, is it? Huh? No, I, I just... Uh, when I used to come here to Phil's garage, there was a girl. She was always looking at us from the from her window. From her window, huh? Sounds like a proper shrinking violet. I guess so. That's the window up there. Oh, that's her, Mr. Drippy. Flippin' heck, Ollie boy. Why didn't you think of her straight away? She's a spitting image of her. Huh? Of who? Who'd you flippin' think, you blockhead? The Great Sage's daughter. The one who's obviously her flippin' soulmate. It's that obvious? I never noticed. You sure have good eyes, Mr. Drippy. She was the only in the window for a second. Never underestimate the razor-sharp eyes of a fairy, my boy. 
spot a speck of dust on the head of a pen I could. Anyway, it's her. No mistake. Let's go over and barge our way into her bedroom. Uh, okay. Uh, um, Mr. Drippy, I really think this is a terrible idea, sir. I don't think this is the kind of idea you think it is. But, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, right? And uh, I think this is the moment we realize that magic can, in fact, be used for evil. Hmm? It's no good. There's no answer. Is something the matter, dear? There's nobody home, you know. Uh, I need to speak to the girl who lives here. You're a friend of Myrtle? Oh, you poor dear. You must be awfully worried about her. Huh? Oh, my, you haven't heard? Well, just between you and I, things haven't been going well for Myrtle's family lately. Uh, how come? Her father works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never ho at home anymore. Such a shame. Rusty was always such a devoted father. But something has happened to him. He's changed. I hear him shouting at them through the walls. I don't know how poor Betty copes, let alone young Myrtle. Such a shame. Betty is... That's right, dear. She's Rusty's wife, and she's every bit as devoted as him as she ever was. Why, only this morning I heard her promising to bring his lunch to him down at the garage. All the love she pours into those sandwiches. It's enough to break your heart. Why, I'm welling up just thinking about it. Such a kind sore. Poor, poor Betty. I have half a mind to tell that Rusty Cartwright just how lucky he is. Jeepers. Oh, just listen to me gossiping on and on. Do ignore me, dear. I'm just a silly old woman. Say hello to Myrtle for me, won't you? Well, I think we found what we were looking for. Crikey! Sounds like there's none too rosy in the Cartwright household, huh? Mr. Drippy, we can't leave her like that. We have to help her. We have to help Myrtle. That's easier said than done, Ollie boy. She's not coming out for a chat, and we're not get going in unless we go magicking the door open. You're right. We should use magic to open the door. I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can go in there and speak to her. You sure you want to be doing this, Mon? When Mom died, I... If you hadn't taken me over to your world when I thought I was all alone, if you hadn't helped me, I'd still be alone right now. That's why we have to help Myrtle. If we don't, she'll be left staring out the window forever, all alone. That's justification enough for breaking and entering in my book. Let's get in there. All right, Mr. Drippy. I, uh, I guess I, I get it. Like, I understand the justification. I'm just saying, like, aren't there, like, ethical manuals? Like, almost every single book, almost every single media that involves magic usually says, like, yo, don't use magic if it's illegal. Huh? It won't open. That's proper weird. A rubbish little lock? That should have popped undone easy peasy. Hmm. What's wrong, Mr. Drippy? It's this Dormon. There's an evil power protecting it. Your spell didn't fail. It was, it was repelled by a malevolent force. What? Repelled? Jeepers. Must be the girl, isn't it? She's the soulmate of the sage's daughter, after all. You think? So what do we do? I'll tell you what we don't do. Carry on trying to get in the front door. It's not exactly polite just to go barge into the people's houses anyways. You're right. I guess we'll have to find another way. Oh, not much we can do, I guess. Shit. That was... P! Hey! Maybe... What's going on, Ollie boy? Maybe P knows something. Eh? What the flippin' heck is going on? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. You can't see her, can you? Oliver, you have to go in there. Yeah, I tried, woman. What do you want from me? It's open. How the flip did you do another spell on it or something? No, it wasn't me. It was P. Huh? Where'd she... Never mind all that. Let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel in distress up there, man. Who are you? My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. 
I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Crikey! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... It's just like you said, Mr. Trippy. It's almost like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. Ain't it, though? They could be twins, man. I knew they were soulmates the moment I laid eyes on her. But she ain't heartbroken. There's something else stopping her from getting better. It must be her parents. Her family is... If that old gossip is to be believed, yeah, sounds like her folks ain't getting on too well. But are family squabbles really that kind of thing we want to be getting mixed up in, Ollie Boy? Maybe not, but we gotta help her. Family is important. It's everything. Well, since you put it like that, go on then. Let's help the poor dead. Next stop, Rusty Shop. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Wow. I... You know, I wasn't sure how I felt about the storyline up until recently, but man, that's... That's actually really kind of fucking heartbreaking. The poor girl. This must be Rusty's garage. I got a bad feeling in my lantern about this. You best make sure you're good to go and ready before you go in. Alright. I should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm I'm more than fine. So, I didn't talk about this when we started the video. I am level 19 and 18 and such. I am well above where I need to be. So, this should be a walk in the park. Uh, I even went through and got rid of gear. I bought some stuff here. I'll even show you guys what I've done so you guys can kind of understand. Yeah, they're all decked out. It's a little bit of a shame that they're going to be getting replaced or upgraded or more likely replaced at some point. But for right now, they're what I got. So, let's go. This must be Rusty's garage, eh, Ollie boy? And that must be him over there. I guess so, huh? Um, excuse me, sir. Are you Myrtle's father? Uh, I came to ask about her. Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it, kid. Eh, what's with that, what's with that swirling around him? Nah, can't be. Honey, I brought your lunch. Not this again. I'm not hungry. But honey, if you don't eat, you'll get sick. I said I'm not hungry. Oh. Okay. I, uh, I see. Okay, honey. Just look after yourself, please. 
Oh, okay. That's that's not cool. So that was Myrtle's mom, huh? You two, get out of here before I throw you out. But sir, we... Oh, he is a spitting image. Crikey, look at those eyes. Broken as heck his heart is. He's heartbroken, but he's not from our world, Mr. Drippy. Let's worry about that later. For now, we know what the problem is. We need to mend Rusty's broken heart, innit? I guess we do. Don't worry, sir. We're gonna help you. Yeek! You're kidding me. A flippin' nightmare? Now we're in for it. A nightmare? You mean like a bad dream? Nah, man. Much worse. A nightmare is an evil spirit that latches on to the brokenhearted. See that black misty stuff? That's how you know. Nickers! The mist is getting darker. That can only mean one thing. And it ain't good news. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right. Get out here, mighty. Let's fucking go. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. I didn't defend like I was supposed to. Oh, okay. That hurt, but it didn't, like, really hurt me that bad. Alright. Eh, heal. Uh. Get out of here, Lemur. Lemal. Nice, get canceled. Ooh, 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 I want it. Ooh, I want it. Let's fucking go, Primal Roar. Show him. Yeah. <laughs> get wrecked. Nice. Oh wow, that that wow that turns out I am probably way overpowered. I did not realize I grinded myself to oblivion. He was a fucking cakewalk. But you know what though? It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine with it. Let's have fun. Screw it. All right. Limal has reached level 19. Excellent. Honey. Next time, don't turn down a lunch from your beautiful wife, dickhead. Uh, Betty, stay away from me. His heart is still broken. Of course it is. We only got rid of the nightmare. Mending his heart's a whole another problem. Uh, Mr. Drippy, these nightmares, just what are they? Well, they're sort of like beasties. Only they're born from broken hearts, and they latch on to them and sort of possess them, see? And Shadda's behind the nightmares, too? Look at him, Ollie boy. Him and Rashad are like peas from the same pot, ain't it? What Shadda, what Shadda's done is he's got the better of Rashad over in our world by attacking his soulmate over here in your world. That's just awful. He's attacking people in my world now. Looks like it. And if we don't mend his heart, he might get taken over by another nightmare. We need to sort this out. You saw what he was like before. It's pretty obvious what he's missing is a man-sized helping of kindness. Kindness? Gee. 
That's right. Anyone overflowing with the milk of the human kindness spring to mind, Ollie boy? Real kind person, huh? Oh. Well, I think we found it. Well, there's something you're looking for that plonks itself right down your doorstep. There's Lucky. I guess so. But how do we explain to her that we need her kindness? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Why, you're... You're Allie's son. Uh, yes, that's right. I have something to ask you. Miss Cartwright, can I borrow a little of your kindness? Hmm? I'm sorry, dear. I don't think I quite... I need it to make Mr. Cartwright better. Please, I need it so I can help him. I really don't have the first idea of what you're talking about. But if it stands even a small chance of helping my husband, then sure, I'll do it. Oh, I guess if you could just convince them that way. All right, lady. Hand over some fucking kindness. I still got some enthusiasm left over from earlier. Nice! What did you do? I almost feel warm inside. Tidy, that means it worked. Now, give Rusty there. Now, give, now give it to Rusty. There's a good lad. All right. Oh, I gotta fucking talk to him. Give heart. Kindness. What are you doing? Ugh. Honey. Oh, honey. Betty, what am I doing here? Did you do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty. Hmm. You're looking very handsome yourself, honey. Tidy, it worked! Ah, uh, mar marital bliss, eh? There is lovely. Excuse me, uh... What do you think you're doing? There's no time to be interrupted. Let's leave them to it and go tell Myrtle everything's back to normal with their folks, shall we? I guess you're right. Let's go. Well, I mean, it all worked out, right? We succeeded. We got what we needed. It's all good. There's nothing, there's nothing to worry about. There's been another, there's been another fantastic victory on the ha on behalf of Team Oliver. No, not Team Oliver. He needs like a real team name. I don't know what I'd name him. <sighs> Oliver, what is it? Well, uh, if my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here, maybe it was me. Father. You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together, that we wouldn't be a family anymore. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. <laughs> Father, I... It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Father! <laughs> please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. Are those tears, Bunting? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? Myrtle. I'm outside! I'm out 
inside. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <sighs> Oliver, thank you so much. I'm so happy for you, Myrtle. I couldn't have done it without you, Oliver. I'm gonna go outside every day from now on. I'll go to school again. I'll meet new people, buy new clothes. It's so strange. I was so so scared to come outside, but now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. Listen to her, Mun. All of a sudden, she's got more courage than you could shake a stick at. I can feel it all the way from over here. She does, huh? There's some in Alma Mun who could really use that courage. Nice thinking, Holly boy. A drop of Myrtle's newfound bravery might be what we need to kickstart Esther's recovery. Is something the matter, Oliver? Hey, Myrtle, I know a girl who's just like you and she's going through something terrible. Huh? You're so brave. I wanted to know if you'd let me have some of your courage. Of course. But how do we do that? We use magic. And I know just the spell. Magic? You're an interesting boy, Oliver. But sure, go ahead. All right, close your eyes. This? Nice. It feels warm. My heart, it feels warm. That means the magic worked. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Now my friend can finally start to get better. I'm glad. Right oh, Ollie boy. We got some courage to deliver in it. Let's go. Sure. Myrtle, I have to go now. Wish your friend luck for me, won't you, Oliver? I hope she gets better soon. Thanks, Myrtle. I will. See you soon, Oliver. Nice. Aw. Everything's worked out. Beat up a boss. Saved a girl in need. I would say this is uh, the hero's journey in a nutshell. Is this large enough? Can I just... Can I do it here? Will it actually let me do it here? I doubt it. I doubt it will. Oh, you can do it right here. Hell yeah. I mean, the only requirement is a large area, right? Oh, we are in a very, very different spot. We are in a very different spot. It Wow. So there's a correlation between where you do it. Okay. You know, I dig that. I don't know if that's really the case, but if that is the case, that's kind of cool, and I'm kind of okay with it. All right. So let's go on and deliver this touch of bravery to our friend. Now, before we do this, I want to talk about something right quick. Uh, I won't be showing questing on video because it's a lot of effort and it's boring. It's not very fun. I showed it last. I showed it in that one video because I wanted you guys to get a taste of what questing looks like. For the most part, any quests that get done are going to get done off screen. And then I'll show you guys the results of those questings if I decide to cash in my cards to get like rewards and shit. But for the most part, I'm not going to show the actual questing on screen. It just doesn't make for good video. Personally, I don't think it works. I don't think it's very entertaining. If you disagree, I get it. I don't think it makes for good video, so we're gonna I'm gonna avoid having that on video. So I just thought I'd let the viewers know, let you guys know my take on that. That's just how it's gonna be. Let's go. Here she is. Ollie her? Huh? Tidy. It's just like I thought. We opened her heart back up again. You can mend it for her now. Don't worry, this will only take a moment. I'm gonna give you Myrtle's courage, okay? Yep, her heart's wide open. Just fire that courage and Bob's your uncle. The fuck are you, the fuck? Who came up with this shit? Who wrote this? Jesus. All right, here's some, oh. So we're gonna slowly unlock the rest of them. Jesus, there's so many of them. All right, here's your courage. This. 
Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Ashad. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. The clarion? Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long is it now since the call of the clarion was heard? Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. To us, the clarion will ring out again, and we will be the ones to play it. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashad, sir. Let me come with you, Oliver. I want to help you fight Shada. I have a familiar to help me, just like you. Here, boy. Wow, you can fight with familiars too, Esther? Indeed she can. Esther's talent lies in training and handling of familiars. So she's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard, is it? Fair enough. Useful folk to have around they are. This here, this is my Drongo. His name is Gogo. Say hello, Gogo. Nice. Tidy. Now that that's settled, let's get down to business. You remember what young Oliver came here for, ain't it, Rashad? Mr. Drippy. I do. You wish to learn the arts of the sages, do you not? Yes, sir. Then you will need these spells. Make stones and puppets move like marionettes. Puppet string. Concoct a range of delicious delicacies. Secret ingredient. Bring light even to the darkest nook. Magic lamp. Pulse. Unleash a wave of pure energy upon your enemies. Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. I'm satisfied that you do not lack determination required. You came here from another world to face Shada, after all. You, you knew? About me being from another world, I mean. Hmm? It was your actions that revealed your origins to me. You healed Esther when I could not. Which told me you must have helped her soulmate in the other world. And only one who called th th that world home could have done such a thing. Wow, so Oliver is from one of the other worlds you told me about, Father. And he was the one who saved me? Yes, it is strange. I feel like I've met you in a dream or something. Oliver, it seems there are things that only one such as you can do. You may be able to help our world. You shall have my aid. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. I will beat Shada. Perhaps, but you will need much training first. Without a complete command of the magical arts, you cannot hope to defeat him. The four great sages could not overcome the dark Jin. For a mere boy to do so would require more than enthusiasm alone. Well, what are you thinking? He's going to need to cram a shed load of experience under his belt in a heck of a short time, eh? Indeed he is. That kind of experience offered by the trials of the sages, Oliver, you must undertake them. Trials? And where do I take these trials? In the north of the desert, at the Temple of Trials. Temple of Trials? You mean... I do. The home of the Supreme Sage of Familiars. Only those with the Supreme Supreme Sage's blessings are permitted to open the doors at the temple. I will accompany you. Cool. Oh, 
on our shots traveling with us. So we got some work to do in between videos, because you can see here, she is, a. Uh, She's not exactly in a position. So what's her what's her gimmick? Is she a magic? Seem I don't I think she's more of a magic person. I'm gonna go on a limb and say she's probably a magic person. Anyways, everybody, I have enjoyed this lovely little video. This lovely little adventure has been fantastic, and the more I play this game, the more I slowly start to fall in love with it. Next time on Nino Kuni, everybody, we're going to head to the to the trials. And learn more about familiars, I imagine. There we go. I will equip uh, the familiar later. So now we have a new familiar, and it looks like this familiar is more inept with, is more uh, capable with magic. It looks like it also has got a, a lightning skill on it, so that's gonna be cool to mess with. Anyways, everybody, I will see you all next time on Nino Kuni. Stay tuned, everybody, and have a fantastic day.